And uh, our next guest was in that. He came over and job shadowed a year ago, and then he went on to have an unbelievable year, and now he's now he's not going to be job shadowing broadcasters anymore. He's going to be, you know, creating his own job playing football in the National Football League. He had a terrific combine in Indy, and now he's getting ready for the draft and pro day. Uh, Terrell Burgess with us here on the Bill Riley Show. Hey, Terrell, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing fantastic. So, uh, yeah, we're a long way removed from that day you came in and job shadowed a year ago. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a while from that. <laughs> well, I, I don't think you're going to need those job skills anytime soon, and you're you're perfecting the ones you need. Talked to you about a month ago. How did things go at Indy in your mind last week? Um, I think it went well. I mean, there's always you know there's always room for improvement. You know, you always want to do better, but you kind of have to become not complacent, but understand that you know you you do well, and you you kind of just keep moving forward and just understand that. The next step in your life is going to, I don't know, I'm just excited to be able to keep moving forward in this process. Well, you should be. There, there's no real secrets anymore. You guys go into that thing well prepared. It's not like 25 or 30 years ago when those guys went in there and didn't have a clue. I'm guessing whoever you're training with right now and your agent, your representation, had you pretty well pretty well prepared for what was going to go on in Indianapolis. Did anything surprise you or catch you off guard when you got there? Uh, no, no, we were we were pretty prepared. I think so, and I, I think I was just excited to be able to to get out there. It was uh, it was cold, just like Utah. So I think I, I didn't realize I missed the cold a little bit until I got to Indianapolis. So I'm, I'm excited to get back to Utah. But no, I, I wasn't too surprised with anything. I, I expected you know it to be a, a long week, a long hours. But I think in the end, it was, it was a it was a great experience. So uh, of all the drills you did, what were you most proud of? Uh, we'll, we'll talk about the interview portion um, in a minute, but but of all of, of all of, of all the workout drills and everything you went through, what number were you most proud of? I think I was the most proud of the broad jump, mainly because I had never jumped over ten before in my life. So I think that was the most proud. That was that was my personal best in the broad jump while I was there. So that. That's probably the one I was most proud of for sure. Everybody makes a big deal of the 40 time, and if you're a big, fat lineman, it's probably not a big <laughs> deal. But if you're a safety, running, four, running 40 yards is something you do quite a bit. You probably had a number in your head. Was 446 a number you were happy with? Uh, yes, I was happy with it. I didn't. Uh, I expected to run a little higher in the 40, so I was definitely expect, uh, definitely was happy with running a 446 and being able to I guess showcase that I do have a little bit of speed with these legs. Well, in my I, opinion, I, I think you told me one time that you thought you could hang with Javelin Gidry. You didn't hang with Javelin Gidry. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> I never said I could hang with Jab. Jab's a different type of speed over there. Oh uh, no! I'm just putting words. He never said that. Those guys <laughs> would joke about that. Uh, Jab not only I expected him to run well, but the 21 reps caught me off guard. That was a good number for him oh. on that. Oh yeah, he's he's a strong human being. He may be short, but he's he's a strong little little man that got strong legs and strong arms. So I wasn't too surprised. I mean, I didn't think he was going to do twenty one, but I knew he would get at least twenty. So I don't know. That was that was a good that was a good uh, good measurement for him. Uh, we're talking to Terrell Burgess, who was in Indianapolis last week. Former Utah safety had a good combine. Uh, I saw your stuff with the media. That's out in the open. That that didn't surprise me at all. I knew Terrell Burgess would stand up and answer questions and do what he always did with us. We don't get to see the stuff you do with teams. How was the team portion of it, and and was that about what you expected to? And and how many teams did you meet with? Uh, yes, I ex- I expected um, for the for the interviews to be. I'm not not like harsh, but I expected them to be, you know, serious and expected to go into them and just let them ask me anything and answer every question that they ask. And I think it was it was a it was a great experience. I am I'm glad to be able to be in this position and be able to meet with teams and interview and be able to let them know exactly what I know about football and what I what I am so excited to learn about. Um, I met with just about informally. I met with. Most of the teams, I think there may have been like two or three teams that I didn't meet with like while I was at the Combine, but they're still pro day and give me a chance to meet with them there and see how things go for us. Did, did you feel like you vibed or, or clicked or connected or any one of those particular teams went really well? That's the question, definitely. I've been asked that question a few <laughs> times in the last 24 hours. Um, honestly, 
I don't feel like I clicked with like like there was like one that was like showing more interest. If if that's kind of what you're asking, or if I like clicked with them, I liked most of the coach or all of the coaches that I met with, and all of the scouts that I had the opportunity to talk to. I think it's just a matter of I don't know. I feel I feel like I still have a month to fill it out and see who who really likes me and really is, uh, I have a chance of going going to. Anybody ask you a really weird or off the wall question? Ooh, um, that. I got that question yesterday too. I don't think there was anything crazy. I think I, you get you get a few questions that are like reworded different. I, obviously, they ask about your background and if you have any off the field issues. And most of the time, they ask like, "Have you ever been arrested?" But one time, I was asked like, "Have you ever been in handcuffs?" And I was like, "Oh, that's a that's a weird way to ask the question." So that's probably the weirdest one. I think if there was a weird one, I think I kind of just brushed it off and kind of just it went through one ear and out the other after I answered the question. So. I don't think I can remember a crazy one, but that was probably the the most one to my recollection. Anybody ask you about your mom's mac and cheese? <laughs> no, nobody asked about my mom's mac and cheese. See, they they, should have. they, they didn't. I would have been able to talk very well about that. They didn't do their homework then. I, maybe that will be on the individual meetings with teams when they dig a little bit deeper into your background. So all in all, you yes, walked sir. out of Indianapolis feeling pretty good about things then? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely did. Yes, so, sir. so any any kind of feedback from NFL teams or the people at the at the combine about some things they want you to work on before your pro day? Um I think uh I think a big question for me going into the combine was people or uh, I guess teams didn't think I would I think a lot of teams thought I would run in the 45. So I think that was definitely I definitely helped myself with running the 44 at the combine. Um nobody really gave me any feedback on what they're like waiting to see at a pro day, I think I just am excited to be able to do some position drills and a couple of the shuttles at pro day that I didn't do at the combine. Yeah, I'd just be curious, too. I mean, you're a versatile guy. You played both the slot and you played safety, and you could play both safety positions. Did, did teams okay. talk about your versatility? Was that something that, that interested them? or Did they see you more as a, as a corner or a safety? I'm just curious. Or, or was it, did, did it vary team to team? Oh, definitely 100%. I think every team I spoke with uh, definitely uh, pointed out that versatility was a big thing they liked about me, that I was able to play multiple positions as well as play on special teams. Special teams was a, a big thing in the conversations that I was having, so I'm excited to be able to go to a team and be able to show that I, you know, do whatever it takes to to make the team and help the team win. Yeah, so versatility was definitely one of the the main points that was in this in all my conversations. Talking to Terrell Burgess here on the Bill Riley show today. Uh I'm sure some teams noticed or or made note of the fact that there were nine Utes and eight defensive players and three guys from the secondary there, right? Yes sir, definitely. I think every a lot of teams ask me like, how did you have so many guys here and you guys didn't win the Pac twelve championships? So that was one thing that I didn't like answering <laughs> about but yeah, every team may know that we had a bunch of guys there. It was a great honor. It was great to see a lot of my teammates, or former teammates, I guess now, out the combine, being able to showcase their talent. Did you say too soon? Come on, guys. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> too soon. No, nah, it's not too soon. I, I expected the question, so I just answered it with a, to the best of my abilities and then tried to move forward on it. Was it was it fun kind of hanging with some other guys? Maybe you had either played against or seen play and get a chance to know some guys? Oh, definitely. It was definitely great to see guys around the country. Um, it was cool because a lot of the guys that were that were there I saw at the Senior Bowl, so it was kind of like a, a three-week reunion that I, I had uh, had seen the guys a few weeks ago and then saw them again at the Combine. And then other guys I hadn't met, it was nice to be able to talk to other guys around the country that are playing at the highest level and trying to get to the to the league just like everybody else. Obviously, your tape's your tape from the team and the season and your career, but how much do you feel like that Senior Bowl experience helped you uh, in the minds of some of these NFL guys? Did they reference the Senior Bowl much? Um, no, they didn't actually reference the Senior Bowl as much, but I definitely think that it, it helped in, in regards to the fact that I, I don't – all season this year at Utah, I played – strong safety and I think I didn't play all week in practices at the senior bowl I was playing corner nickel and free safety so I think it definitely helped to show my versatility and the just the fact that I could play multiple positions and that it was I guess maybe that was a question going in into the senior bowl 
a uh, moment or two more with Terrell Burgess here on the Bill Riley Show. So what's next? Obviously, Pro Day is coming up at the end of this month back here in Salt Lake City. What, where, where are you at right now, and what are you doing between now and then? So now I'm just in Orange County. Uh, I just got back yesterday from Indianapolis. So I'm back here in Orange County just training um, in Santa Ana and just trying to get, get uh, I guess, right for Pro Day, but make sure I can still showcase my talent and be there with my guys. I'm really excited to – get back and see all the guys I haven't seen in a while it's a it's a great it's a it's a great time to to be in the position and have a chance to be able to chase your dream yeah it kind of felt like and I was talking about this the last couple of days Terrell that that uh, nobody really had a bad combine from Utah there were other guys like yourself that maybe had a little bit better but I didn't feel like with nine guys there anybody really had a a bad uh, bad go of it did you guys get together and talk at all uh so most of the guys were gone by the time. I mean, Jalen, Julian, and uh, Jav, were we, and we were all there like the last night, right. but everybody else was gone. We didn't really talk much about anybody else, but uh, yeah, I think everybody came away with a, with a good week, and I think if if they thought or they didn't do as well, they still have pro day to be able to do better, but I think everybody came away with a good week and are happy with their, their performance. It, it, is it weird still, or is this settling in that, that you're you're about to be a pro football player? Uh, I think it's it's a surreal moment. Like I'm trying to see, like enjoy the moment right now, but it's still a little weird. I don't think it's like really hit me yet. I think it will when I uh, when I first put on a jersey or a helmet, and I think that'll be that'll be the moment where I understand that like this this is what I've been working for, and I'm excited to compete and be at play at the highest level. I'm guessing between both Senior Bowl and then the Combine, they're they're now treating you guys like pros. It's it, not that you guys didn't do things the right way at Utah, but it's it's different. You're not quite a pro yet, but you're being treated that way and expected to act that way. Correct? Yes, sir. One hundred percent expected to act professional in everything that you do, and all all ways of life, and just keep. I don't. I don't know. I don't think most teams will want guys on their team that are still acting like they're in college college you know just having fun this is it's a business and it's it's a it's you're going to be getting paid to play a game but it's also a job so I think you have to take it that way anybody's brain you're picking a little bit any former teammates or guys you know maybe a Marcus Williams or a Marquise Blair or maybe you're interacting with coach Scally anybody you're kind of leaning on right now uh lately no I've just been kind of just uh work, focused on combine training I think now that the combine's over. I think I can shift more, shift back to more football aspects. So I definitely will start to reach out to guys and pick their brains on. But before before this this weekend, no, I've just been focused on the combine to make sure that I could put on the best performance that I was, I guess, to the best of my abilities. Well, hey, I thrilled for everything that's going on for you right now. You knocked it out of the park in Indy, as I, I kind of thought you would, and. Now you've got pro day, and then it's just kind of interviews and a waiting game, but uh, everything seems to be trending in the right direction. Keep up the hard work, Terrell. We'll talk to you again soon. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you guys having me on. Always good talking with you. That's Terrell Burgess with us here. 